What's up guys? It's race weekend. We are here in Ferropolis, Germany. Um, having a blast. We are currently on the qualification day. I've done some decent runs on the track. It started raining last night, so currently the track is wet. Did one wet run today and it's very changing conditions. I think we will do um, less grip on the tires for the qualification run so that I don't get straightened up if I uh, gain a lot of grip on the track. Uh, so I will have more control of the car with less grip. So I hope I can do a decent run and uh, do a good qualifying line. So we are in the game for tomorrow. Right now we are standing in the hot pits, uh, right before Orian is going out for his uh, second practice session. The two first runs he had was great, so uh, now we're just crossing fingers for a couple of good runs as well. So the uh, car is looking great, the driver is looking great, so uh, yeah, let's do it. for the first qualifying run. Um, it's still wet on the track. That is a little bit exciting because uh, there is some water pots on the track, meaning you have a lot of grip in some places and then coming into the water pots you lose a lot of grip. So just have to be really careful on the throttle, still maintain a good line because you get real punished if you don't hit the good line. That means actually rubbing the walls all the way and using the angle of the car to brake. Have a good style, so I, I need a good qualifying run to, to get into the game. It's a real high level of drivers, so just have to push hard, not too hard, and have fun, I think. That's always a good uh, solution. Woo! here and there just and a guy that's threatening now probably to go top of qualifying is Oran Nielsen if he can carry the form the Norwegian driver for what he displayed in Riga we could be up for something sensational here he is a standout star this year and he definitely doesn't back down massive initiation from Oran Nielsen there big lock up with the front brake and he locks it up again he's in the wall big hit with the wall and I'm not sure if that's damaged that rear wheel it could be damaged, so he's definitely taken absolutely smashed the back end of the car off completely here. Him in kamikaze style into that first car didn't work out in his favour. He can never uh, criticise Ornilson of not having full commitment. He's in the Max Heidrich school of smashing cars. And here we go, Ornilson does get out to the last wall, but that was a big error. And you can got him back going again. That is almost a straight, and if you look at it, watch the front wheels. Very close to a straight. To me, the last part, the second to last outside zone, very, very nice. A 66, you will get a score on the board. Dunnerbein? Yeah. Or Dunnerbein? Yeah, we shall have a spacing in the middle of the Yeah. Can you see it? Dumper natur. Marking in a fine hair. Yeah, then I will go. Fast down. Let's see. We'll just check that spacing. First qualifying run done. Uh, hit the wall in the first corner. It started to dry up really bit, uh, good on the track. Why do you do this? Oui. One piece of bent rim. Are you happy, Mats? Yeah. Yeah? Something has oh. moved, but we can't see uh, any any bent parts or anything so so the the toe is a little bit uh, different uh, yeah about 10 mil different we have reached the car now we just have to put on a decent run on the second qualifying run yeah. so 
So I uh, decided to change the gear ratio in the differential. I feel I struggle a little bit to get the car wide enough out to the first corner. So now I will have a little bit more wheel spin into uh, after initiation and uh, that will help me get out to the wall a little bit better and have more fluidity. So I hope that will help me getting a good run. Go for it here, but not as much as he did on the first one. Fires into that first corner very late for Warren Nielsen. He's going for that wall, and he gets there. Big lock over the front brakes, gets in there and gets oh. in there again. Touches the, the wall, all three first zones. Now into that inner zone. Look at this, right to the edge. This is an extreme. Warren Nielsen building on that confidence gained in Riga, and again oh, out to the wow. wall. Huge run here from Warren Nielsen. Not afraid to smash that car into absolutely everything. Wow. Impact upon impact upon impact, and he gets the job done. Did he just challenge the top three? From Oran Nielsen, the streak continues. <laughs> 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 to the finish line, big run from Zelensky, big thing. Poor car. Yeah. Just come on. But you're just so hard on it. It's drifting. You need yeah. to use the car. You're looking at the back end of a sore right like, <laughs> your one is gone. I'm so glad it's flexing though. You're like that was the second one was phenomenal. Right? Yeah. You could do that tomorrow. I was I was really nervous after the first one and I hit the wall. Yeah but it was like it was patchy. Yeah it was still, wet yeah. there. So the second one you did but I thought you might go in cautious, which you didn't. But like it actually the second one flowed though. So I think that was Good little car. Thank you. Good Hello. 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 Saturday and race day. It's raining. It's a wet. It's a wet day. Wet day. So uh, anything can happen. We will uh, change to the rain tires and yeah. see how it goes. Yeah. It's better to stay all wet. Yeah. Or completely dry. So. Be exciting to see. Yeah. At least we will save some tires. <laughs> That's true. Yeah.
here because, of course, Aaron Nielsen doesn't <laughs> like to run, run the back end of this car off anything. Very cautious driver. Oh, no. If you can't, if you're a first time viewer, all of the sarcasm on my side, he's probably one of the most aggressive drivers we've ever seen in the championship. Going up against another rising star. I like to see pieces of that Toyota Sora rear end scattered around the track at the end of this lead run. Anderson knows how good Nielsen is, knows how good the Norwegian is. He's got to go for it here. He's been left a little napping on the line. Yeah, he's been left there massively, David. You can't get left here in Germany because that running is so short. Oh, big understeer from Oren Nilsson as he hits the wall and shuts it down. And like that, Joachim Anderson says, well, a little turn of fortune. We qualified 27th. Maybe we just got a little bit of you know, a free buy. Yeah, and the funny thing for me right now is this fellow drivers but go into that wall. Oh, he can't even complete another run. The rear no. wheel's bent. Oh, he's bent man. the rear wheel, I think. Yeah. I think he's out of the competition. And there's another huge upset because, to be honest, as much as Joachim Anderson is a rising star, Nielsen comes out of Riga as one of the brightest stars. Yep. He could oh. not slow that car down, no matter what he did. We see it here. Look, went too that's, wide. That's three of our drivers now in top three. Full lockup. What happened? It just, yeah. The just, car just disappears. Just, yeah. Just, can't get it back on the throttle again. And is the like car bent or the wheel bent? That's I, the problem. I'm, I'm hearing that the wheel is bent. Um, it looks to me like it took a big oh, it's, oh. A, it's seriously damaged. But it is holding now it's air. Gonna, now it's going to come down to our start line and our technical marshals um, to decide. Well, for me, that is that is. Well, it's definitely um, <laughs> towed out quite considerably. Yeah. Back. It's not facing the right direction. The question is that first corner being so dangerous. Did he even get around the first corner? Yeah. The track, Crazy. The track now being, you know, decided whether you make it through or not. The tr you have to be absolutely pinpoint perfect and not make one mistake. And that is going to be a big story as we move through top 16 later on this afternoon into that final. Who are we going to have left by the end of the day to be on the final day? Well, the thing about it, what you're now seeing, and if you guys are watching at home, we're going to get warmed up here. The main event to come later today. What you're noticing, Joachim Anderson going through, and unfortunately, Oren Nielsen. Absolutely got it as well, because he was asking our start line marshal, is there no way he can run? <laughs> The wheel's facing a completely different direction than the other three. You can't just send the guy in. And of course, when the adrenaline's up, the decision of the driver will always be just send me on two wheels. It'll be fine. <laughs> but for safety reasons, our safety marshals will say that is not safe to run. And it will be Joachim Anderson getting the win. Joachim Anderson getting the win and going through to the This top 32 has been incredibly dramatic, I think. So that was it for me. Um, some bad luck in the first corner. It was raining at the beginning of the day. And then it started to dry up, and when I was driving, I thought it was completely dry. So I was thinking I was going to nail a 100% run. Um, and it was still slippery in the outer zone of the track. So misjudged that a bit and uh, hit the wall. Um, not too hard, but enough that the wheel was broken and the angle of the wheel was wrong. So they didn't allow me to drive, and uh, that's fully understandable. I'm on the ferry home now, so we just have to get home and fix the car and get ready for Poland. Uh, it's going to be a good round, really looking forward to it. Um, and I'm also happy for Joachim, uh, he's a great guy, so yeah, that's the sport sometimes, you just have to take the ups and downs. I also want to say a huge thank you to my family and my partners and my team for making this possible. Super grateful. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.